Hey oh YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and welcome back to uh, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. So, uh, last time we got stuck in a really dumb way, hopefully we don't do that this time. But we made it through the Mysterious Forest and we are in our first dungeon. Anyways, as I was saying, we are in our first dungeon now. So, we are in, what is it? It's, um, Tell Cave is what we are in, so... We are going to hopefully do this in a timely manner. I really hate getting stuck whenever I'm like trying to do a let's play. Ooh, okay, cool. That was easy. That was surprisingly easy. Was I supposed to kill those? Is that what that was? Or yeah, I think so. All right, cool. So we've got our first small key. So good so far, I guess. Do I need to go back? Maybe I should just check at least. Oh, this seems like this seems bad, right? No, this is this is easy. We can do this. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. If it's all like this, I can totally do it. This is what I was talking about. I actually really liked the dungeons in the original. So it says the compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. All right. Cool. I will definitely need to pay attention to that. I have headphones on, so I wonder if there's any like hidden rooms or anything. That, like, right? That totally seems like there's something hidden back there. But I can't push these things. Alright. But yeah, like, I don't know. There's a different... The 2D Zelda games have always been... Which I guess it's not 2D anymore. It's like 2.5D. I can't really say 2D truly anymore. But the 2D Zelda games always had a different feel to them than, like, the, the 3D Zelda games. And even though it's the same basic, like, premise, you're, you know, Link and you're... Wait, what? Ooh, okay, that must be the tone that it plays for the, the, the key being nearby. Come on, there we go. Right here, maybe? Is that the key? If so, that's the second key that I've gotten in a row without a door. Yeah, now I have two keys. Alright, cool. Uh, we can open two doors now. I don't know which way to go. Uh, I, I have no idea what I was saying. Oh, yeah, but, like, uh, I, I really do like 2D Zelda games. This and Minish Cap are definitely the two that I played the most, and my, like, my two favorites, I would say. Is this another small key? And I would totally play Minish Cap on this channel sometime. Oh, no, it's the map, okay. But this is just really cool to see, a, like, such an accurate remake of such a good Zelda game that's not very well known, I would imagine. I don't know, I mean, it's well known, but it's not like a regularly played game, I feel like. I don't know, I, I could be totally wrong, because I'm sure there is a, uh, you know, still a fan base for this game, like the original that is. Or the, uh, the DX version, I would imagine, is probably the more popular one. The DX version, from what I understand, added like some extra dungeons. Which probably didn't even matter whenever I played it. I mean, aside from it being on the Game Boy Color, so it was in color, you know. You know what I just realized? I missed another path back in one of the other rooms, but I'm locked out now, so it doesn't matter. Oops. Crap. I know that, like, there's a new feature in this game, too, where you can, like, create your own... Yeah, my cat is freaking out now. Uh, where you can create your own dungeons and like have other people play your dungeon no i don't think you can play i don't know I, that might be a feature but you get something for like beating your own dungeon or something i don't know i probably won't be doing a lot of that stuff maybe i will but we'll see i just really want to play through the game again i remember it was really fun whenever i played it like the last time and i don't know i haven't played a 2d zelda game in a really long time either i haven't ever played a zelda game in a really long time honestly Alright, so I don't think I can get over there. Not right now, anyways. Alright. One second. I, like, I literally had to let my cat in the room because otherwise he was going to scratch the door the whole time I played this game. So if you're a cat meow, it's just my uh, cat. It's a black cat, I mean, which is, I guess, appropriate for, you know, Halloween. Oh man, God! I fell into that hard. Okay. Okay, here's the thing. I've got three keys now, and I don't know where I should use them first. I'm scared to go through this door because it looks like one of those doors that like locked on me before. 
right? That totally... Oh, man, yes, hearts. Awesome, okay. Alright, well... Uh, let's just do it. Let's just go for it and use a key. We have three of them. As long as I can get back out. Alright, it didn't lock on me. That's good. This room seems horrible. I bet you can push some of these blocks, though. Alright, so I'm gonna need to go this way to get around this thing. And then kill these guys before they cause any real damage. Come on, really? Why are you on me? Alright, so let's go down here. I'm trying to push some blocks every now and then just to see if I can. No. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I knew there had to be one. The beakless statue is saying something. You can't make it out. And that was probably like a hint. Oh, wait. No, it's a beakless statue, so I need to find the beak, maybe? Oh, there's another one. That's weird. Can I attack you? Ooh, I bet maybe I can, like, lure one to, like, fall in this hole or something. No, that didn't work. Not at all. Can I do this, maybe? No, oh my god, I'm gonna die again. Alright, so this, uh, this room is doing nothing for me. Oh, wait, maybe... Oh, man, I missed. I wonder, because I have the magic powder still. I wonder if I could, like... No, it literally did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave that room. I don't know what's going on in there. But I don't think I can do anything about it right now. Right? Yeah, like, I have nothing. Alright, we'll come back here, maybe. Because, like, I feel like the beak... Like, I need a beak to do something there. And so maybe I'm not even supposed to be there yet. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so let's see if we can get some more health. I'm hoping these crystals down here do it again. Oh, God. Or this worm, maybe. Come on. Please don't kill me. It's like... Well, honestly... No hearts. Uh, there we go. Dying hasn't really been a problem up until now, honestly. Like, it's just restarted me exactly where I was. So, I mean, I know that's probably going to... Actually, yeah, I remember that kid saying something about, like, unless you're in a dungeon, then you start back at the beginning or something like that. This guy, again. Whatever. I can just go around him. <laughs> Alright, another key has been used now. There we go. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh my, oh, okay, that was close. What can I do here? Ah, oh, God, I walked right into that. What are those? There we go. Oh man, I bet I could have gotten something else. It, like I did all three hearts and it gave me hearts, but I kind of needed hearts anyways. I wonder what the other ones would have given me though. What is this? Oh, it's a beak! You found a stone beak, okay. Now, here's the question. Can I only do it once? Because if I can only do it once, then I don't want to waste it. I want to take it to the other, the other room, but whatever. Let's just turn aside the spine ones with the shield. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, see? Thank God that was there, because, like, I don't know if I would have ever remembered that. Oh, sweet, cool. I think that doubles my attack, right? That's cool. I'm just gonna, like, wipe everything out. You need to just get away from me. Alright, so now I can go back here and finish this other one. That wall can be bombed, too, I bet, but I don't have a bomb. I do think it's dumb that the magic powder didn't do anything, because remember the witch said, like, try sprinkling it on enemies or something? I don't know, like, I feel like it should have, I don't know, it should have done something. Why can't I not attack them through that wall? That's silly. Video game logic tells me that I should be able to. Alright, so I want to go ahead and see what this says, too. If there is a door that you can't open, move a square block. Yeah, I figured that one out, like... 
Alright, this one, I feel dumb for not re realizing that. Like, I could have done this while I was here instead of backtracking. That's another thing I hate in video games is backtracking. Ooh, okay. Where does that go? Let's see. Ooh, this is cool. This is really cool. Can I not jump? Of course I can't jump. It's it's Zelda. What am I thinking? Are those Goombas? What are you doing here? You're in the wrong video game. Okay, well, we are fighting Goombas now. This just became a thing. Alright, anything over here? No. I feel like I'm missing something. I really, like, everywhere I feel like there are secrets, and I just, like, I am missing them somehow. Like, how do I bomb that one bl the the... Oh, what? Oh, I, I have no use for that. Can I come back for it, maybe? Can I even reach it? What is that? That's weird. Okay. It's probably for this, because people probably get hit a lot right there. Oh, is that Rock's Feather? Yes! I can jump now! I literally was about to say that whenever I saw that little gap uh, just a little bit ago, I was like, oh, once we get Rock's Feather, I can probably jump. I remembered that being in this game. I don't know, if you've never played a lot of 2D Zelda games, you probably have never seen Rock's Feather. This might be a completely new item to you, but Rock's Feather is a, is a fairly common thing in, in 2D Zelda games, at least. I don't know if ever or if it has been... Uh, in a 3D Zelda game at all, but it probably has, I just don't know. I'm not an expert on Zelda games. Alright, so we have Rock's Feather now, which is nice. I probably have to assign it, yeah. Sweet! Now I can jump! Now I can just jump over everything. Oh, and I can get this now, too! Okay, cool. Yeah, this is, like, I told. and now I can do this! It's funny because, like, everything was leading up to Rock's Feather. And, like, I saw it, and I even, like, in my head kind of put it together, but I still didn't, like, didn't put it together. Can I jump over this? This would be so cool. Oh man, no. Okay, whatever. Not a big deal. Alright, so let's uh, be a little patient here so we don't get killed. Oh man, this thing's gonna get me hurt! Alright, let's just wait. Be patient. I can jump that little uh the gap duh okay whatever all right jump over that the gap that i was talking about though is up here not this but uh right there and i have a small key too so i can actually do it okay cool yeah right here whenever i was here just a minute ago i was like that looks like something rock's feather would like be good for you need to stop, bro. There, okay. Cool. But yeah, I didn't expect to get it this early in the game, though. Oh, another small key, maybe? Ooh, the boss key! Or the nightmare key? Okay, that's a boss key, right? To the nightmare's lair. I guess that's just what it's called. They're not calling it a boss, they're calling it a nightmare. Okay. Oh, I really thought I'd be able to, like, jump back down there. You see that little ledge? Oh, well. Whatever. So, like, I, I didn't expect to find that this early. Where do I go to, like, get to the nightmare room? You know, and there really is, like, a lot in this game that the first time I played it, I didn't, I didn't pick up one. And, you know, you kind of pick up on it the second time. And it's something that I kind of wish that I could just, like, say, but I don't want to ruin things in the game, so... It's been so long since I played it, too, that it's, it's basically, like, I wouldn't even remember it anyways. Okay, so you can actually see on the map where everything is. So there is a treasure chest right here, but I'm assuming you have to have the bombs, and I don't have the bombs... But can you come back to a dungeon? Yeah, you could. I, I would imagine so, right? Let's. I mean, I'll try this, but no, nothing. I'm starting to think that that stuff is just useless. Like, it was just for the raccoon, and that was it. Like, whatever. So we need to go over here then, to the right, and figure out how to get to the nightmare room. All right, one more time here. So we need to go to the right now, which we can because we have Rock's Feather. Yeah. Man. 
I would have felt so smart if I would have just, like, said it. Okay, here we are. We made it. What is... Oh, God, okay. That's where we're gonna have to jump. I, like, I love the formula for Zelda games. Like, you get a, an item, and then you have to learn how to use the item, and then you use the item to beat the boss. Like, come on, buddy. Try a little harder than that, please. Oh, wait, is this not the nightmare? Is this just, like, a mini-boss? Because I still have the boss key. Oh, and I get a fairy! Okay, let's, uh... Definitely grab that fairy, yo. Sweet. Okay, so now if we die, we're good, right? Set it free anytime you want to get healed. But will it heal me automatically? It didn't say. And so now I can also warp to back back to the beginning of the dungeon. Which I think I'm going to do just to see if it, like, auto-saves. Because I don't think it auto-saves whenever I beat that just now. That must have been a mini-boss, I'm assuming. Alright, let's just exit the dungeon and come back in so it saves. Everything looks so cool in this game. Like, I hope, honestly, and this is going to be a very controversial subject because I remember whenever The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker came out, I personally loved it. I thought the graphics were so cool. Like, they, I know that they don't look realistic necessarily, but I just thought it, it matched the Zelda aesthetic really well. But, like, I don't know. I... I'm, I'm trying to say that I wish that every 2D Zelda game after that was remade after this looked like this or whatever. But that's not the case because, on the other hand, I also loved how Twilight Princess looked when it came out. So, I don't want them to stick with any one style forever. But I would definitely love to see at least one or two more Zelda games be made in this art style. Because it's really cool. Alright, here we go. There's the Nightmare Room. There is a... Something here. So, I want to, like, there we go. I don't want to, like, have anything set to Y right now because, oh, look, I can get a full heal, but I don't need it. Is there, like, a way to get up on that ledge? Oh, look, he can do a gainer. That's, like, weird. How did I do that just now? There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, or wait, is that a gainer? No, a gainer is whenever you do a backflip, right? This is, like, I don't know, what is that? I can't even do it now. Whatever. <laughs> I'm getting too distracted. Let's uh, let's go fight this boss. Alright, so let's wait for these. And there we go. Into the first boss room. This was a really short dungeon, I feel like. But it was very straightforward, and I like that. Alright, it says Buzz Buzz Outsider Moldorm. Okay. It's like a, a giant caterpillar. Right? Can I attack it whenever it's not red? Ooh, god. Here we go. Let's see if we can maybe get some extra damage in by doing this. Come on, come on. Was that it? Was it just three hits, or was it... Alright, that was really easy, too. Alright. At least I did really well this episode. Hey, hey, and we got another heart. Cool. Finally. We still have not found that fourth piece of heart, have we? That's really frustrating. But yeah, at least I did way better this time. Like, way better than last time. I promise you, I'm not that bad at Zelda games. Ooh, it's like a... Violin... What is that? A cello. Okay, it's... We got the full moon cello. I do kind of faintly remember collecting instruments in this game. Alright. I was uh, expecting a little bit more of a song than that, but it was literally Swamp. It was literally like two seconds long. A path opens in the blooms. Oh yeah, it was where we went just a minute ago. Well, not a minute ago, it was last time I played. And uh, it was that swamp that I kept getting like killed in. I, I knew I could make it through there, but I didn't know... Or I figured I probably wasn't supposed to be there right now, which makes sense, because now that I have this feather, I could probably jump through it easier. What? Oh, it's the owl. Hello, owl. Hoot! That is an, instru an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. 
That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in Goponga Swamp. Hoot indeed. Yelp. It's literally, that's Goponga Swamp. That's where I was uh, at just uh, in the last part. Oh, I can jump over that now. Yay. I really want to find, the, like, one more piece of heart. Is there not anything? Let's check the claw game, because maybe there's one. Can I jump and get these now? I really want those apples. It bothers me that I can't just grab them. Oh, what are you doing now? Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something to Bow Wow's house. Uh, it was a really bad scene with the Moblins. So, I mean, ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Okay. So, I guess something's going on over here. Oh no, it's the lady with the Bow Wow. What? She says, Aye, it's terrible. My Bow Wow was dognapped by m m Moblins. G -g -g ghost No. <laughs> oh, ah, please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Okay, so... Anything in here? Is this Chow Chow? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, she misses Bow Wow. No, wait, that's not Chow Chow. So where did she say he was? What? It's terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, ah, uh, please somebody help. Okay, so she didn't say where he's at at all. But I guess we have to find the Moblins to get him back. But and to be honest, I just want to go see what's in the claw, <laughs> the claw game. We'll go fight the Moblins next time, probably. Um, what's that bag? Is that a bomb bag? Wait. Okay, we have to try and get this. And it's oh, I didn't even notice the Goomba. Okay, man, it's on the like the two hardest ones. I don't know how to time these because it's really hard to like get it right. All right, I'm hoping that by the time it comes back over... Right, grab it, grab it! Oh my gosh, come on. All right, so I should have paid attention to where it was at just just now. Okay, wait. This isn't a piece of heart, but if it's a bomb bag, it's extremely useful because we could go back to the dungeon and get that the chest that we missed. I mean, I don't know for sure if it is, but it, that's what it looks like, right? I want to go to the right a little bit, and then... I'm going to go up. See, and hopefully by the time it goes over and then comes back. No, man. Oh, wait. Is that... It knocked it off. Wait. <gasps> that means I can totally grab it now, right? Or no, it's still going to be pushed by the other things. But it's going to be easier. It's going to be right there, at least. Ooh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Strategy, guys. Strategy. I just figured out how to get those a lot easier. If you knock it off, at least, you can... What? Come on. That was not cool. That was pretty spot on, right? Like... Alright, well, you know, I'm gonna try, like, once or twice more, and then I might just do it off screen. I don't know. Okay, no, no doing stuff off screen, right? Right? Alright, come on, grab it. Please grab it. No, don't knock it that way. That is so frustrating. It was right there. Okay. We're gonna get this, because I want to see if it's a bomb bag. The Goomba, I'm not that worried about. The bomb bag, like... I got 100 rupees. Might as well, right? Alright. That is so stupid. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on. <gasps> yes? Yes? Maybe? 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 Possibly? Yes! Okay, cool. You never know, because it can still drop, like, right there. Alright, like I said, the Goomba, I'm not super worried about. Like, I can get that some other time. I'm not even that worried about it. Yes, I want it, but... Is this a bomb bag? I should have known. It's magic powder. That was completely pointless. Okay, alright. You know what? I'm done. It's cool. It's all good. It's all good. So next time, we will figure out where these m m m are, and we'll, uh... <laughs> 
we'll hopefully go get Bow Wow back. But yeah, alright, so that's it for this time. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below, and if you want to see more like this in the future, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you will be notified when I upload new videos, blah blah blah. Alright, <laughs> until next time, I'm Red Alchemy, thanks for watching, and everyone have a great life.